Yeah. <laughs> Dot, Boston, Massachusetts. W E Z E is the station. Hi there. Hi, Steve. Thank you so much for taking my call. Sure. And uh, you're a wonderful. Uh, I'm not feeling too happy today, but you oh. people make me laugh. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah, good. I'm wondering. Uh, I'll tell you my pro- try to get to it quickly and not take too much of your time. Uh, I have a 23 year old grandson who has had a problem since he's about 15. Uh, some girl brought some alcohol into school, and I don't know, out of all the uh, guys on, on every sport team, he happened to be one of them involved. Uh, and that's when it started. But my daughter uh, spent, well, 15 to uh, high She had him to a psychiatrist and, uh, and psychologist, and he was, a, and he is ADHD. Um, so... Adderall didn't work with him. He looked dreadfully lost weight, and uh, he looked like he was sick. But anyway, from that, it's graduated to the big uh, shocker of my life was last week. I know he's been I, he's predis- uh, genetically predisposed to alcohol because his father's an alcoholic, mm-hmm. and his grandfather's an alcoholic, and there's alcohol on his grandmother's side. My daughter's adopted, and we know... Mm. Uh, she found her her um, biological mother, and we know the family were with them all the time. They're Dot, well Dot, I just need to I need to break in here. You are my favorite caller of the week. You're a grandmother who has deeply researched pathological conditions on a generational level with your family. Mm-hmm. You're not. You know, you're not ignoring this. You're not saying it's other people's problems. You're not denying this. I'm just so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. Way to go. Oh, I give my life for this kid. and I, I brought him up. My husband, at 62, uh, we uh, he had retired. He was an engineer, and we came out of our re- retirement and bought a 12-room house in a wonderful neighborhood to bring up our two grandchildren. Oh, wow. my gosh. Because Incredible. we knew they would never have a home. And Dot, one day I realized God bless you. I'm out in the parking lot. This is a parking lot. He can't play in a parking lot. Hmm. Wow. And he said all the advantages of every, and he's uh, such an athlete of everything going. All right, give all us the question before we go to the break, though. I've spent on skates for him. Dot, real quick, but give us the question before we go to the. How break. can we help? Well, he has hit. I'm wondering when when they hit rock bottom. Uh, my shock last week was he called me to come over. Uh, I moved to the next town. I've sold my home because he came in once drinking. And I never All heard right, hold on. Like I'll uh, talk with you about this right after this. Hi, everybody. Max Lakato here. As a pastor, I've seen how important it is for people to come and get good Christian counsel. People make decisions that turn out to be the wrong decision. I heard Steve Arterburn say on New Life not too long ago that the same thinking that got you into your mess isn't going to get you out of it. If you find yourself in a spot and you don't know what the next right thing to do is, then won't you call the good people at New Life? They have a network of Christian counselors around the country that's more than 850 strong. Call today, 1-800-NEW-LIFE. That's 1-800-639-5433. And tell them you need to find someone to help you. They're likely to have a counselor in your area to help you with whatever you're struggling with. It will be good, godly counsel. Call today at 1-800-NEW-LIFE, 639-5433. I counsel people every single day. I help marriages. I help broken people find healing. I teach the good news of a Savior that loves us. But why can't I accept it myself and break free from this bondage? I can't stop looking at pictures that I shouldn't be looking at and fantasizing and lusting and and, and now I've taken it a step further and gone to a strip club. I have to stop. I want to stop. At New Life, we've helped thousands of men just like this find hope, healing, and a plan to move forward with their lives through our one-of-a-kind Every Man's Battle Intensive Weekend. Call us right now at 1-800-NEW-LIFE. That's 1-800-639-5433. I need help, and I can't do this on my own. I want to be the pastor that God wants me to be. 1-800-NEW-LIFE. Find out more information about New Life, 
or to order any of the resources mentioned on today's program, call 1-800-NEW-LIFE. Now, back to the program. Okay, we're talking with Dot, a um, wonderful grandmother here. And uh, so, Dot, what happened that was your big shocker? Uh, he uh, called me to come over, and I went over, and oh my word, I've never seen a, a person look so depressed in all my life. I never saw him look like that before, but I uh, but I found out uh, why since. And he told me he was asking me that he ha- that he ha- he had decided to go to a detox, which is called the NORCAP place. And I said, well, that's wonderful, and I was so excited. I said, why, of course, I will help you. Mm-hmm. So we went to the bank, and I, I think I wrote checks for about a thousand or twelve hundred dollars last week. And he said to me, "But now, don't don't let on to mom." Now his mother is a, on a corporate level in nursing, but yeah, I think even they can okay. be in so, denial. Okay. So what happened? What did he do? Uh, he took the money and he went and he he came back and after every three days he told me there was a copay. She said insurance. She she's on a, a corporate level in nursing, and she has the insurance. He told me that it was a hundred dollars a day a copay. Mm-hmm. So he'd come about every three days and say, "Well, I guess uh, I guess I can, You know, I really it's a, it's uh, I don't like taking money from you." Okay. So is it uh, so? So what happened? Did what, what, he, was he in treatment? What's he detoxing from? I found out that he was not even in treatment he because wasn't. I called a friend okay. that was driving him over here to get money from me. Okay. And he was not even in there. Okay. And since then, I have found out my daughter, and I don't know why she hasn't told. I remember her saying to me, "Don't you ever give him five cents," and I and I haven't. Because I said, no, I don't trust people that uh, drink alcohol. If I want to do no. something for him, clothes or whatever, I will go with them and buy them. And but, you would want to go to a treatment center and write the check to the treatment center. No, he was just going and cashing the checks. He knew. He knew. Right. Uh, but I'm saying now. It. But now you you've got a lesson that you learned that you'd have to go to the treatment center and give them the check versus give him any money in any form. But any, here's the question. Here's he the question. Never went near the treatment center. I called up. Well, that's what I'm to saying. So you would, if he needed no. to stay longer, that no. I'd be happy. I'd okay. be happy to send my, to, to bring the money in. Beverly, and I mean, Dot, he, Dot. My point is that if you had gone to the treatment center, he'd either not be there, or you would admit it, and he couldn't have stolen the money. That's all. The point I was trying to make. But what's the question for us, Dot? How could we help you? Where Where should uh, uh, the shock of my life was? My daughter says that she's finding needles. And I called his friend that had driven him here to question him. Okay. And he said, I said, well, I, is he dealing drugs? And he said, no. He is shooting up heroin. Okay. Oh so how could we wow. help you, Doug? I just wanted to know what heroin can, heroin can do and, and where should he be? Well, he should be. In, in a, it can kill you. And B, he needs to be in rehab. And C, it's highly addictive if you shoot up. A hundred people randomly, ninety-nine of them will be addicted because it's that it's that addictive in terms yeah. of its power. Yeah. So all of your energy needs to be to help your daughter to get him in rehab. And you got to work with the daughter, and not with the grandson. And and a rehab now this NORCAP, but I understand that's more for alcohol. Well, you 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 know if you went over there and talked with them, they could tell you what they're about yeah. and what they will do and who to refer you to and how you can help. I think the, the best thing That's you could do for him That's what I was kind of thinking. I should be calling just, them and find out yeah. where should he go. Yeah, ask them and don't ever give him another, another check nickel. or anything. And, and if he needs hey, I doubt if he's really interested in rehab, yeah. Dot. He was interested in money and he came up with a great con and he conned you. He's interested in heroin. And he's interested in heroin. That's and that's what heroin so does. Focus. Yeah. It'll, it'll make you steal from the person you love the most. Mm-hmm. Dave, what's your best advice to her? You gotta, you gotta be strong, and you gotta be a united front with your daughter. You cannot, he cannot play the two of you against each other, which I think he's been mm-hmm. doing. And you've got to get some help yourself, the two of you and your daughter, and you need to start going to an Al-Anon meeting to find out just how all of this codependency stuff works. Okay, Dot. I'm really glad it's you a, called us. It's a huge hurdle that you face with that kind of an addiction. With yes. some very I hard choices today, ahead. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. Dave's kind of a rock star in this area, so well, I respect you. Yeah. 
Yeah. Well, that's sad. She's uh, so dedicated and committed. You buy a house to raise the kid, and he's doing heroin. Yeah. You know what, though? Mm. God redeems the years the locusts have taken away that's from right. us. That's true. And there's something that he's internalized from Dot, this kid, this out-of-control kid, that he's got somebody who loved him. And she spent time when she sacrificed for him. Mm-hmm. He's throwing it away now. He's gonna. He's got some hard stuff ahead. Right. He's gonna have but to be really deprived. Yeah. But he's got that. You know, I, I uh, remember a story of a, a man whose brother was a an addict, and um, just one day God told him to go over to the trailer park and talk to him. And um, there was a gun there. He'd almost killed himself that day, and mm-hmm. took him to treatment. And now this brother that had been the alcoholic in the family all those years runs a treatment center, and mm. you know just. So much hope and so much happiness is there on yeah. the other side of the addiction. Yeah. Recovery is real. Well, we have a treatment yep. center, and uh, we would love uh, to tell you about it. If you need some help, you call us at 1-800-NEW-LIFE, newlife.com. And as I mentioned earlier, when I was at the treatment center uh, the last time, 70% of the people there are prescription drug addicts. It's the, it's the big thing. It it's is, the yeah. new thing, mm-hmm. and it's easy to fall into. 